guys, and welcome to week one of warm-ups for the horn. My name is Libby, and today we're going to talk a little bit about what makes up a good warm-up and why we do them. So let's get started. One saying that a lot of people like to use uh, referring to warming up is slow and low, meaning that to start your warm-up for the day, you should start with sort of a low note that you don't have to try too hard or push too hard to get out, one that you feel really relaxed and comfortable playing. Okay? Some people call these notes warm tones because they're just long stretches of sound that we use to warm up us, our air, make sure we have steady air, and to literally warm up our instrument. So if you look at the unit one B flat major sheet and you look at exercise one, um, you'll see that there's some long tones here. These are what long tones look like. Just long durations, usually whole notes tied together, so we can practice keeping steady air and sustaining a beautiful singing pitch. There's a lot of good instructions on this page, uh, such as play this page every day if you want to be good. You know, we really should warm up every day. It's pretty important. We have to stretch our muscles and work on them and exercise them, just like an athlete might have to. And the instructions for the first exercise, long tones A, take a full breath, gulp the air, don't sit, and use smooth, consistent air for a smooth, consistent sound. These things are all really important. So make sure before you play this, uh, next time you play them, that you read out these instructions. So for these, I'm going to set my metronome to 80 beats per minute because it's always good to practice with a metronome and practice our, our tempos. And I'm just going to play these. I'm going to do the exact, exact instructions by taking a full breath. And I'm going to use my abs to create a steady sound across both of those whole notes. Two. said long tones are really important to get things started to make sure you are warming up in the best way. You can also do these long tones on your mouthpiece. You're not going to be able to hold them out as long, but it'll still get everything started and get your face warmed up. So if I were to do these, I would only do four beats. Two, ready? Four, ready? Something like that, because as we know, the mouthpiece is sort of the microphone, the horn is the whole amplifier. So if you can make the right sound on this, you'll definitely be doing well once you plug it back into your horn. If we look at um, long tones B, they're very similar to long tones A, that's the second exercise. This one says check your posture and hand position, and quality air equals quality tone. All really important. Remember that our posture is sitting up nice and tall, hand position, is like a handshake with the thumb on top and the hand slightly cupped. Since we just played those, well, since we just played a similar exercise, I'm going to go on to uh, line three, the five note scale. Now, this says sing and fing, or sing and finger. It's important to sing during the warm up because brass playing mimics a lot of how we sing. If you sing a note, da, and you pay attention to how you feel, how everything feels nice and relaxed up here, where your tongue is in your mouth. If you mimic that on your horn, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. So if I were to sing and play through this, it would be, I'm going to put my metronome back on 80 beats per minute. I'll sing through the whole thing first. Let me just make sure I have the right starting note. Okay, so I'm going to sing and pay attention to how everything feels. Da, 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 da. And I think, okay, I felt really relaxed when I played that. I had a nice da articulation. I felt my air being steady and supportive the whole time. 
I felt supported from my abs. I wasn't clenching, but I was, you know, just keeping my air steady. And then I copy that when I play my hold. So I just sing and then I copy that in when I go to play my hold. So those are just some warm ups to get you started for this week. Remember to start slow and low with nice long tones. Keep your air supports, keep your air support steady and always be focusing on having good breaths in and out. If you get started on this and start incorporating it into your practice session, it'll make playing the horn a lot easier for you in the long run. So happy practicing to you and I'll see you guys next week.